Welcome to Scope Yourself Into Trouble with Ale. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, today we're going to talk about a weird thing in Ale. Um, actually, it's a weird thing in a lot of languages. The fact that you have multiple things that are called the same. And um, how does that work? Um, so let's get right into it. So here is the usual an, an MG app you get from Ale Go. And um, and let's uh, let's try something. So we'll do message. Uh, this is this is this is percent one company name, right? So we can see that that's you know that's a procedure. But here's the weird thing. Um, AL allows you to, when the procedure has no parameters, you don't need to specify the parameters. So right now, this is this is how it, the, this function usually works. So in the in the original, in the old AL, uh, there weren't really any difference between a, a global constant. Uh, or function everything was the same thing um and and so so we got used to you know when you write record dot insert and don't put the parentheses and stuff like that uh, all the way back to company name um but let, let's by the way let's let's run this uh, before i totally Jump down a rabbit hole of not really staying on topic. This is Chronos Canada Incorporated. Not a big surprise, right? That was the totally the expected result. But let's let's change this thing. Um, first of all, actually, let's let's prepare this just a bit so we will create this as a procedure called test how about that then we'll call test from this one so so now if i run this this will do the exact same thing the only difference is that now message is inside a procedure so what happens if i do var and then i create a global variable and you know what i'm going to call this variable I'm gonna call it company name. You never saw that coming, did you? Um, and if you noticed, because I have the fancy color thing turned on in uh, in Visual Studio Code, that this one changed color. So we can come this one out, and so it goes back to being a function call now. So so the the compiler already knows. So if I do company name equal global var here, and we run this, so now company name, because if, if let's let's think about it that. L looks there's a name. L let's see what that name is. Then at furthest away we, we look at all the stuff that is built in. Um, and then we can look and see if I need a global variable. So so you know the oh hang on, wow keyboard thing. So let's uh, let's do this so let's create company name here also as a local variable uh, and we'll do company name equal local bar um, and then actually you see let's let's do the message thing so let's do here see what happens here um oh, that's perhaps a stupid place we can do this one um 
and this one. So now we have this three company name variables or variables are actually the wrong name because in this case two of them are variables and the third one is as a function. So this is global var, this is local var. Let's look at the code again. So the innermost here in this case, so so when, when we're looking at this function, when the compiler needs to figure out what is company name here, the closest by is the local variable. So this one take precedence over that one. Out here, company name is global raw. So if we do this, we, we, we do this one time over. So we do test two, then procedure test two. And we go here and now we create so see, the problem here is that uh, as I'm typing, I'm, I'm also thinking that, that this will still be the global variables. No matter what we do, we as soon as we had defined the global variable in this object, we no longer have access to, uh, to the company name function. Or do we? What happens if we do this? Ah. So let's run this again. This is Canada. This is global. This is local. So, so we can always get to this one if we need to just by using the parentheses. But in this function, we no longer have access to company the global variable called company name. That name is overwritten by by the local one, and and we could try to do you know, cur page dot. What if we say uh, let's see let's see protected var here. Um, can we do cur page dot company name? This is local. This is local. So then we have to. I, I actually I have no idea if this is going to work. <laughs> so we're in this together right now. Uh, this is function. This is the global. This is still the global. So actually, by because we're in a in the case of a page extension, and we can tell this to be a protected variable, uh, which is a weird name for saying that it's public in the object the extension works on. Um, then we can we can actually get to it in here, so we can override this. Um, but if it's just a normal, then this doesn't work. So what happens if we do other things? Uh, can, are, there, are there other cases where we can do this? Um, what if I create a variable text format called format. Well, this will this will never override because format has to be called with um, you know, with, with parameters. So, so as soon as that is, but what about what is the current? Now what about what about let's say, how about this? We create a variable called today. That's the date. And then we say today is equal uh, something else. Get rid of, I don't care about that one. So today date is today. So today as a function. That'll work, but today is not a variable. Let's run this and try it, try it out. Uh, global, 
and today is January 1st. It's not, because yeah, maybe I would actually create a video on the January 1st. To be honest, uh, you never know. Anyway, I think the important message is here that that don't get clever with this. Avoid this. Uh, the whole reason that I actually this this videos came about was that i screwed up um, and somewhere in somewhere let's just say somewhere i created a variable called a company name um, and um, <laughs> that got me into trouble and and uh, everything worked but but you know I had to add some parentheses in a couple of places for, for it to work as intended. Um, so learn from my mistakes. Don't, um, don't try to be clever with scoping. Uh, it's just gonna, uh, gonna end bad uh, in one way or the other. Anyway, you can go and check out this video for more AL hacking uh, and maybe even uh, some cool tricks or stuff like that. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.